streaming service The Zone, home to numerous boxing events and promoters, is facing a proposed class action lawsuit in California. The 32 page suit claims the streamer has charged renewal fees without viewers' consent into the charges, according to an article from the class uh, from classaction.org. A hat tip to Matthew Brown of Brunch Boxing, whose report brought this story into greater awareness. If the lawsuit allegations are proven, the fees would be in violation of California's automatic renewal law. In the filing, it is alleged that the zone uses, quote, consumer confusion and inertia as a way of maintaining subscription levels and increasing revenues. The suit adds that, quote, online retailers in the state must highlight extension terms in, quote, a clear and conspicuous manner, as well as obtain permission from the customers before their accounts are charged with subscription renewal fees. He also states that terms surrounding automatic renewals must include an easy option about cancellations. This needs to happen everywhere the zone operate. This shouldn't just be in California. This should be across the United States. And if they win the class action, I have to imagine it will be. This should be in the UK. Yeah, the way the zone are moving is foul. It should be easy to cancel your subscription. It's easy to cancel Netflix. The Zone made out as though they were going to be the Netflix of sport have turned out to be nothing of the sort. Yeah. Netflix make it easy for you to cancel a subscription. Should be just as easy to cancel The Zone, but it's not. They're moving foul. This needs to be called out. More of the media need to get on this and start questioning you know, the people who are uh, representatives of the zone. I don't know if they can get interviews with Blavatnik himself. That Joe Markowski guy, I'm not sure if he still works for the zone anymore because I saw that he resigned from his position or was replaced or whatever the case may be. I'm not sure if he has a different position in the zone, but the zone has become a bit faceless lately, haven't they? Back in the days when they first launched, there was always someone that the boxing media could interview from the zone. But now it's like there's nobody. There's just Eddie Hearn and, and Eddie Hearn don't work. Well, Eddie Hearn works for the zone as a promoter for them, but he's not, you know, a, a the zone employee directly. And so he's just gonna fob the questions off. And maybe that's how they want it. So this is unacceptable, the way that they're moving. Lots of people have been complaining about it. And I want to see more of the media highlighting this stuff. Yeah? It has to change, it has to stop. Should be easy option for cancellation indeed. Goes on to say, the suit claims that the zone systematically violates the California automatic renewal law and that the streamer makes it exceedingly difficult and unnecessarily confusing for those wishing to cancel their subscription. Yep, I've heard this time and time again. The confusion alleges the suit, the confusion alleges the suit has also resulted in accidental or unintentional signups courtesy of apparent dark patterns on the site. Oh my gosh. Goes on to say, the case added that the defendant's conduct had, quote, drawn the attention and ire of customers across the country with countless angry customers taken to the internet to voice their discontent over the defendant's deceitful tactics. Yeah? The zone, sort it out. You're moving foul. Stop it. This is not the way to treat the customers.